Do you agree or you disagree with Julius Malema? Julius Malema is saying the GNU will only last one, maximum two years, it will collapse. Well, there are things, there are signs that are beginning to show that this so-called unity, that word at the end, national government of national, that word, that word, unity, it's, it's a theoretical term that supposedly will, 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 look, people will live up to it. However, um, it's like he, I once read a, a, look, a statement in a certain book that says that it talks about Christians who goes out to evangelize. It says they go out and please bear with me. You will understand where is the linkage between uh, the government of national confusion versus the story that I'm about to tell you. The story goes like, uh, there are a group of evangelism, look, evangelist people that goes on a field to evangelize people. So what they do, they get into the field and give them alcohol, right? So they give these people alcohol. They want them to go to church, right? That's their aim. So they get to the field or whatever the place may be, or you may call it, right? But they get there, they purchase a lot of alcohol for them and they make them drink alcohol. Whilst they are heavily drunk, they take them to church and baptize them. By the time these people wake up, look, wake up, they, they, they look, by the time their senses come back, they find themselves at church and they find themselves being baptized and members of the church, right? So this person was saying, they look later on, they will all look, uh, look well, later on, when these people, they, when these people come back to their senses, they will exit the church one by one. Did you hear the story? At the end of it all, when these people, when they come back to their senses, what they will do, they will exit the church one by one. Now, Julius Malema says, I'm saying to you one year. One year is enough. This GNU thing will collapse. And somebody will say, but Bongs, what do you mean this GNU will collapse in a space of a year? Well, there are things, there are cracks, there's just everything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a video of Julius Malema where he speaks about that. That this GNU thing, just give it a year. A year or two years is going to collapse. Right now, uh, a minister, like there's a lot, there are a lot of things, man. Yo, 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 yo. There are a lot of things, that, but... I'm, I'm only going to mention two to two, two, three things that are beginning to show that there's no unity here. Focus on the word at the end, unity. There are things that you're beginning to see that there are no, there's no unity here. But I know in this YouTube channel we have a unity and the reason I know that is because of this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe it is free, to like the video it is free, to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge, to click the notification bell it is free of charge, to share this video it is free of charge, to watch this video until the end it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean come on, to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed now if we speak about unity for instance that word government of national yet yeah, they, they focus on this word unit unity means we, we we are in one accord right we are doing things uh you know we forget about our political parties as they said that they will forget about their political parties but just now there was a, a breaking. There was there, there was some breaking news. For instance, um, look where, um, look who Zigalala right is working with them. Look, he's a deputy to a DA minister. Zigalala breaks the news that three hundred million has been lost in in that department they are working in. I think it's infrastructure or what? Is it three hundred and twenty-four million in total? And there is even more. 
So it is him who exposed that. But guess what? The DA went as went as quick as possible and grabbed the credit. Today, the DA makes it their story. It is as if it is them who broke the news. Where is unity there? Wait, before we continue with this, do you want to know what Malema said? Oh, yes, that's why you are here. Take a look at this. The GLU will not last long. I give it a year. If it goes beyond the year, it will be two years because after the ANC conference, it will collapse. Remember, the DA said we are prepared to work with the ANC of Cyril Ramaphosa. So the ANC conference is going to remove Cyril Ramaphosa, whether he likes it or not, it's his second time. He's not coming back. So the most likelihood, if they survive a year, after the ANC conference, they will not succeed because like province of Houthi, look at it. It has completely rejected the DA and went on to constitute government without the DA. And we're going to make sure that that government of Houthi works. We're going to support it because not to support the government of Houten is to support the DA. So if the Houten government fails, then the doomsayers are going to say, you see, if you don't work with the DA, you are going to fail. So we need, we are not in an alliance with them. We're not voting for them for anything. We're going to vote for their budget for whatever is required from us in order to defeat the DA and demonstrate to the national leadership that you could have done the same. You don't need the DA for you to survive with the numbers you have. As long as you put progressive proposals on the table, you can still govern without having 50 plus one because no one won elections. No one said we must work together. The story that the electorate said we must work together, it's a fiction. Someone just created it. They, they did not vote for anyone. So if no one is voted for, it means from time to time, we must consult one another and get consensus from amongst the parties that are voted into power. The ANC uh, missed that opportunity and went into bed with murderers who are still to account for the killings of our people. Uh, so there's no unity in such a situation. There's literally no unity because if there's a unity, unity means giving credit where it is due. You give credit to all the people that are supposed to be getting the credit. But that's not, but EDA, they are not about that. They are about to get credit that they don't deserve. That's one. Two, the same DA, for instance, uh, re rejected a policy that came by the EFF, sorry, not by the EFF, by e, by e, e, ANC. A minister of ANC speaking about the land or what, what, DA categorically rejected that thing. I lost it today. I saw it and I was supposed to do a video about it, but I, 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 look, I don't know how I lost that article, but that article is also captured by IOL where a minister from the ANC proposed a bill concerning a uh, local land without expropriation. So they were talking about the, how they need to expropriate the land. Guess what? This unity, unity, uh, to show that there is the unity is, do you remember the story that I told you where the unity is, is a unity or oh, people attain this unity, right? Without sorting the differences. So what tends to happen is that because their differences exist, but they are just drunk, drunk enough that they ignore their, uh, their differences. So, but they interpret that as unity. Do, do, please hear this. They are drunk. At the moment of their drunkenness, because they have for, forgotten about their differences and they are drinking together, they think that's unity. But the DA was quick to come back to their senses as soon as they introduced the land without expropriation uh, proposal bills. The DA was like, ay! Did you see the point? It, it, the, it cannot be, in, in fact, in fact, the best way to say it, let me say it this way. In this country, there are a lot of racism that has constantly came about, right? You know why? 
Oh, look, why you keep seeing racism in this country? It is simply because, again, this fake unity, right, where people are saying we are a rainbow nation. But one person will have to ask a very important question and say, if we are a rainbow nation, who, the ones who wronged the others, did they apologize? Did we speak about uh, how their actions have made us feel? And did they reconcile or we were busy forcing them to reconcile? If that's the case, then whatever unity that you're talking about, it's not unity per se. It's just other people are drunk enough to forget that they are enemies. But when they, are, when they come back to their sober senses, guess what the first thing they remember is that we are enemies. That's why you constantly see people calling others kafir. Because from the beginning, from the word go, they never apologize for those things. That is gay, the fake unity that you are also seeing you look at the look, government of national unity. There's no unity next there. You, are, you will see it for what it is. So when, you, when, when it starts to crack, they will leave one by one.